Are you ready? Are you ready? Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing amazingly well. I'm so excited for today's video because this is a tag. The tag is called Solo Dolo and this was created by the amazing, by the beautiful, the incredible Chi Chi here on YouTube. If you are not following Chi Chi, why not? please go ahead and follow chi chi i'll leave her youtube channel below and i will also leave a link for this video below not this video her video i will link it in the description box below and when you go back to chi chi's channel let her know that abby sent you now this tag is all about perfumes that are riding solo in my collection it's literally the only perfume from the brand that i have in my collection now i've got a ton of those but i picked these ones because they are the ones I love the most and I want to share that with you guys. I'm going to start with one of my favorite vanillas of all time. And this is Odwell by Diptyque. Now this is a green, smooth, yummy vanilla. I am obsessed with this. Why? Because it's so unique. The, the bottle is incredible. The scent is just phenomenal. You can wear this. I would say you can wear this all year except for summertime i think it may be slightly too much for summer but the greenness makes this so versatile and so stunning if you like vanilla or if you don't like vanilla this is definitely one to check out there's just something really special about this like i said it's super super smooth it's very very alluring and it's literally one of the best vanillas i've ever had my nose on so that is Odwell by the tick and this is the other parfum now this next perfume is gonna be <laughs> a little bit shocking to you guys but those of you that have been here for a long time like i've been on youtube now i want to say seriously three and a half years and i've not mentioned this perfume in about three years and this is kim kardashian's first perfume i'm um, self-titled and this perfume guys I feel like this is the best celebrity perfume ever. I've tried a few. Like when I wasn't able to afford the niche perfumes, I could only afford certain designer perfumes. I was going for celebrity scents. And this, I must have bought this perfume at least three, four times. This perfume has tuberose. Can you believe that? As much as I hate tuberose, I love the tuberose in here. Like I said, this is giving for me this is giving niche quality yes i said it unfortunately i think this has been discontinued and you can't really find it online but if anyone finds this online please comment below and give me the link because i want to get this again i have kind of what shall i say elevated away from celebrity perfumes and i've just not i'm just not a fan of them like i used to be i remember my first ever perfume was um, celebrity perfume was the one by britney spears my god i <laughs> love that perfume when the pink bottle i think it's called fantasy i loved that perfume i still do i wouldn't buy it now just because it's just something that i'll give to my daughter but this one i will always get this if this was available i will keep this in my collection i think kim did this perfume just justice this is a beautiful floral perfume slightly sweet um the tuberose is just so smooth it's not too heavy it doesn't give me old vibes it's just quite a modern perfume let me know if you've ever tried this perfume i think it's one of the best if not the best celebrity perfume i've ever had my nose on so that is the kim k perfume next is prada paradox now i got this one last year it was a last year release they have a flanker on it already and i will say this now the flanker is so divine this is your regular fruity floral but it's a little bit elevated it smells amazing it smells quite similar to your my way by Giorgio armani it smells similar to um Donna Bonnie roma by valentino but for me this is the best one now if i were to choose between this and the flanker the flanker all day every day because it has a heavier dose of vanilla which I absolutely love. This is long lasting, easy wearing, easy reach, every single day type of scent. This is super versatile for any occasion. Definitely one for all year round, but maybe more for spring and summer. But the intense one, you can wear that during the autumn and winter months. My gosh, I love Prada products. I love the packaging. I would definitely always repurchase this. The only Prada perfume in my collection. I'm yet to test out 
a few other ones i think they have a more expensive line they have this one that is a vanilla something i'll leave a picture up there i really love that perfume i tried it in harrods about two years ago and i've had it on my wish list for the longest time so i may just buy it so this one might be getting a friend very very soon or a sister <laughs> very very soon so that is prada paradox next perfume is black tie by celine i have been screaming about this perfume for a while i will always always have this in my collection another one that is like a vanilla tonka bean kind of scent it is so deep but it's very soft and delicate um although it says it's black tie you can wear this to any occasion really but i think it'll be perfect for going out it's one of the best from their line i feel like celine as a brand does not get much love in fracom and they have so many perfumes that i highly suggest you guys try out i've actually not smelled one that's bad and that is you know saying a lot about the brand when it comes to their perfumes but for me this is the best one that they've got again uh, a beautiful vanilla a smooth vanilla i actually don't feel like this is feminine i think a man can also wear this perfume and i just i highly recommend you to get your nose on it a little bit pricey for a designer perfume but it's so worth it so that is the black tie by celine next is a perfume by bodicea and this one is called the bravery the name is at the back i know if you guys can see that my apologies but this is <laughs> beautiful this is so elegant and i don't think anybody anyone has ever spoken about this perfume a lot of people speak about the same one from this brand and they have so many perfumes um the other day i went to harrods with my husband and we both well i've tried blue sapphire before they actually have a new one now which is like they're really the most popular perfume i think from their line and my husband was like i'm so keen to smell it so many people say great things about the perfume and i warned him i said hmm, this might not be your property because Blue Sapphire is a very challenging perfume. Like, it challenged my nose. And I think my nose is pretty mature enough to smell. Like, I smell a lot of perfumes, especially niche perfumes. But Blue Sapphire challenged the heck out of my little body nose. I did not gravitate towards that perfume. Doesn't mean that it's bad because a lot of people love it. Like, this brand has so many perfumes that are very forward, very in your face. But this is my favorite. It's my favorite because it's so feminine. It's so... It's like a sweet floral scent with notes of saffron and lavender. And the thing about lavender, as you guys already know, I'm not a fan of lavender in most perfumes, but it is done to perfection in this one. I think the notes of like lily of the valley, sandalwood, the musk, the vanilla, it kind of makes up this perfume in such a way that it's just so well done. It's an ultimate white floral scent. It's a floral perfume with a lot of layers to it i definitely recommend this it's exclusive to harrods i think you may be able to get it in selfridges and just so you guys know both places ship worldwide so okay let me not say worldwide i think they ship to like i know they ship to america to canada um but i don't really know much about other places they ship to but you can always check their website but i know that harrods and self especially selfridges they will ship to a lot of places um but I definitely feel like this one is definitely one you honestly try this bravery out. It is phenomenal. It has um, a shimmery body oil, which is just so beautiful, quite pricey, but definitely worth it in my opinion. So that is the bravery by Bodicea. Perfect Intense by Marc Jacobs. This bottle is so attractive to me. This is one of the reasons why I fell in love with this perfume. I do like a good looking bottle. I really do. This is an almondy, nutty, fruity, sweet, very, very lovely perfume. I definitely prefer this to the original. I don't really like the original. I don't, I don't hate it. But when this one came out, I just thought to myself, yeah, th this is the one. This is the one I need. I tend to like intense versions of designer perfumes better than the original um this is fantastic this is long lasting every single day where it's so so stunning the only mac jacobs i think i'll ever buy because i have never really been a fan of mac jacobs perfumes apart from decadence which 
I think you can find in some on some websites now. So I think I'm gonna buy it again. Um, but yeah, apart from that one and this, I don't know, Marc Jacobs perfumes just don't speak to me, but this one definitely speaks to me. So that is Marc Jacobs Perfect Intense. Next perfume is Dylan Purple by Versace. This perfume, I barely wore it last year when I got it. Like before I knew it, summer was over. Another one that the bottle is so divine, like it's just so nice. It's a fruity floral but more on the fruity side it's very fruity it's quite sweet it's very juicy like it's one that i just uh, i could drink this so i would not but i could drink it because it just gives that edible type of vibe but if you like the original versace and you like the the turquoise one this is the best one in my opinion this is like hands down the most likable one the sweetest one the most crowd pleasing one this is one i'll bring on holiday with me longevity is pretty good i'm talking eight hours which is quite surprising for me when i got this i got this in a discovery set i'm um, not a discovery set it came with um a, a smaller package and it also came with like a headband which i gave to my daughter so I used the five mil that it came with, which which was just, oh, it was just nice to just throw it in my bag and go, it's finished now. So this summer, I definitely will be wearing this a ton. Um, oh, it's sweet. It's sweet, it's lovely, it's fruity, it's definitely amazing. So that is Dylan Purple by Versace. So one of my subscribers left a comment on one of my videos saying that I don't speak about this perfume, do I not like it anymore? They've never heard me spoke about it for months. So I'm just like, you guys are really watching though. <laughs> but no, I do still love the perfume and it's strictly now by the Canto. This is Passion Fruit Heaven. This perfume is fruity, it's musky, it's very powerful, it's very fun, it's very flirty. It's definitely like an autumn, winter, date night kind of scent. It's quite strong, um, but I love it. I love I love me a fruity fruity perfume and this is definitely very sweet and fruity a lot heavier than the Versace one because this is a very fruity scent as well but this is a more niche level type of fruitiness I really love this the passion fruit definitely stands out you get some peach you get raspberry you get like a super tropical feel when you wear this perfume and it's very long lasting i'm talking literally the whole night the whole day it's definitely worth getting your nose on if you have not already so that is strychnina by vicanto and last but not least is so malakis and this is the only perfume i have from this brand this is cacao um chestnut silk it's very unique there's nothing like this in my collection at all and I love it. I've not really put that much dent in it because I don't wear it often. This to me is like a proper going out scent because when I wear this, I just feel very different. I feel very classy. I feel really elegant and it's like a going, like a special occasion type of scent to me. It lasts long. It smells really different. It has like a fruity opening and the dry down you get the chestnut and the cacao it's got a little bit of rose as well which just gives this perfume so many layers and it's definitely a try before you buy this isn't for everyone but for me out of all the ones i've smelled from this brand this is my favorite this is one i feel like most people will like the most because the other perfumes are really challenging to kind of gravitate towards maybe after a few tries i may find another one that i like but out of all of their perfumes and the ones I've tried, this to me is the best one. I believe this is also their best seller. This is the one everyone screams about and for good reason. So that is Soy Malakis. So my lovelies, that is it for this amazing tag. I'm so happy to do this. Like it's so exciting for me. And um, thank you so much Chi Chi for tagging me. I truly appreciate it. Again, guys, please go and check out Chi Chi's video. Please subscribe to her channel everything will be linked in my description box below thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye